Hey guys, this is Jimmy from Primer is Best. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I always disconnect my batteries on my old cars or old trucks. Whatever I have. And it occurred to me, all these have batteries. Do you know the correct way to take a battery, you know, take the battery cables off? There is an order that you should, go, that you should do. I'm not saying... You shouldn't, but you should do. I'm going to try to show you the correct way to take the battery cables off in the right order and then put them back in the right order too, okay? There's some people, I know y'all's laughing. Y'all's Some of y'all's probably out laughing. But there are some folks, some young, some young adults, you know, whoever the case may be. There's, I don't know everything myself and there's some folks that don't know how to do this okay so i'm going to show you in case you don't know in case you don't know okay here's the battery cables one is a positive see that see that plus that's the positive side okay this one has let's see try to twist this around see that minus sign negative that's the negative side that's the positive side. You don't want to put them together. Like this wrench. If I put this wrench on here and it fell and hit both of them at the same time, there's going to be a problem. It's going to mess my battery up, isn't it? And maybe more than that. So what you want to do, and, and I got this rag out here for a reason. Now so, some tools, I don't know what you have, what you don't have. Some tools have a coating on them, a rubberized coating to keep you from uh, messing up, you know, or uh, electrocuting, whatever. So, uh, but I, I, you can use a rag like this. It's kind of hard to do this one-handed. Just loosen up the nut on the negative side first. The negative side first. Okay, that's already loose. Take it off. Just like that. Maybe you can see it better now. Negative. And then you have your positive side. Now see, it depends on, depend, excuse me, depending on your vehicle, car, or truck, there might be a piece of metal close by like this, for example. If I was to touch this with this, you know, negative, it would, it would create a, uh, a problem for me. You know, it'd make a full circuit, I guess what you call it, right? You don't want to do that. So this one doesn't have no coating or anything on it. I'm just being real careful. Well, i got to open it up a little bit more. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's kind of hard to do. Okay, I think it's loose. It doesn't take much to get it loose. Ta-da! Got it. So, if you're wanting to put it back, if you're changing your battery out or your side post, this one is not a side post. Some, sometimes there's batteries that have a side post on it, GM cars and trucks, and they'll, you know, you put the battery cables on the side. That's the reason they call them side post. So, this one's not like that. But uh, you do it the same way, exact same way, just like this is called a top post battery because the posts are on top side post is on the side right so if you're going to put it back together say you're changing your battery out the battery's bad you just bought a new one at the store or someone's putting it on for you make sure now see this should be red it should have a red cable that means positive black means negative but see i, I know that i've been fooling around with old cars and old trucks biggest part of my life i mean this is no brainer here but uh, this is the positive. On your car or truck, you might see it, you know, this coating red. That means positive. Remember, black means negative. So you do the same thing just in reverse order, right? Right. Put it on there good and snug. Get your wrench. I'm just telling you how I would do it if, if I didn't. No, just tighten it up. 
that's pretty good you don't want to over tighten it but you want it snug and if it's dirty kind of get you something these are not dirty but anyway you can get a like a i have used coke coca-cola before you know some kind of soft drink like coca-cola poured it on here like if there's battery acid that's that little white stuff it looks kind of, looks kind of powdery just pour it on there to eat all that away I, you know I, I get a wire brush or a battery little thing i don't know what you call it battery cleaner post cleaner but you can get a wire brush and just kind of go around the top post and it'll make it real shiny go around in there too inside your battery cable see how shiny that is and clean them up put your negative back on just like this make sure it's good and snug get your wrench tighten it up sorry guys it's a little bit harder for me to do holding this holding this uh, phone and trying to see what I'm doing too That's pretty snug. Both of them. Ta-da, you got it. Anyway, in case you uh in case you didn't know that, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, but you'd be surprised how many folks don't know how to do, you know, like basic basic uh maintenance, you know, like 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 taking the battery apart or something like that, or checking your engine oil. This says engine oil. You gotta have oil in the engine, right? Pull it out. You probably can't see this. Anyway, there's a mark. Hold this. That's my wife, Mrs. P.I.B. She's holding this for me. See this little mark right there? The two arrows? It's full. Full of oil. If it's less than that, add a little bit. Where do you add it? Right, where it says engine oil. Yeah, engine oil. Yeah, right there. There's of course, where you... these motors are a whole lot simpler to find yep. things on. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you basically about the battery. If you're interested, if you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them for you. But it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. But like I said, some of y'all might be laughing, saying, "Jimmy, what, what, you know, what are you, what are you doing?" But I'm telling you, like, like for my wife and myself, Mrs. P.I.B., we got grandchildren. They don't know how to do this. I mean, they don't. They will. They will. Yeah, they will. But I'm saying, if you have, if you're 16 years old or you're 32 years old, there's somebody out there. I guarantee it doesn't know how to do this. And I'm trying to show you. If this video was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments, you know. There, I'm, just little things like that, you know, that, that you and I might take for granted. Some folks don't. They don't know. I mean, there's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of things I don't know either. Truly, there isn't. You be, <laughs> might be surprised. Y'all have a blessed day. Let me know if this helps. If there's something much you'd like for me to do in another video, let me know. If I know it, I'll, and I feel comfortable telling someone else about it, I'll be happy to show you. If I can. And uh, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. You're watching Primer is Best. If you'd like and subscribe, I sure would appreciate it. I'm on Facebook Primer is Best and Instagram Primer is Best. I got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram Man on a Budget One. That's my wife, Mrs. Pib. Say bye. Bye. And uh, want to wrap it up here today. Y'all have a blessed day today, guys. Be sure to pray for others, and uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Catch y'all in the next one, guys. See y'all later.